treatment today is a BBO, which is a treatment that stands for broadband light. It's a machine that we have, it's made by Cyton. It is the, probably the gold standard treatment for treating any discoloration to the face, sun damage, brown spots, um, any redness to the skin, rosacea, any broken capillaries on the skin. Um, it is not a laser, it's actually um, a warm flash of light, and so it heats up the collagen underneath the surface, and that will also help stimulate the collagen, uh, make the skin look fresh, nice. It can also help decrease some of the pore sizes on the nose. Um, it's a good treatment for anyone of any age, especially living in Arizona where we have a lot of sun damage. Um, so for this treatment, we do not use any kind of topical numbing cream. We just use an ultrasonic gel that we apply to the skin, which helps protect the skin and helps transmit the light down into the tissue. So after we've cleansed, we just put a layer of this on. So most importantly, we want to protect the eyes. So these are medical grade laser shields that work really well so that we're able to get all of the area around the orbital rim, but this protects the eye. So for this patient, we are predominantly today going to treat her for redness. She's got some broken capillaries here on her chin, which is pretty common. She's got some around her nose and just a kind of a generalized, um, you know, kind of a pink color to her cheeks. So we are going to do uh, a pass to target some of her brown and then we're going to really focus the second pass on her, some of her redness. Start over here on her jawline, and I'm going to count to three before I do the first pulse. So here we go one, two, three. So it just feels like a warm little pulse. Here we go one, two, three. And she's got the cold air, which is nice to have to help cool the skin off. The crystal on this also cools down. Um, to a certain temperature before the laser will safely fire just because we want to protect the skin as much as possible. So we want to keep it nice and cool while the light is transmitting the warm flash. So how long does this treatment take? The treatment itself is really pretty quick. Um, typically a person could be, you know, in and out in 30 to 45 minutes. Um, this treatment can be done really on any area of the body. I would say um, most people do face, face and neck, but we can do chest, hands, forearms, um, any area of the skin that has um, brown sun damage or redness. When we're treating for redness, redness is always more stubborn than brown uh, because it's the little capillaries that are broken underneath the surface, so it's more internally driven. So for the redness, um, that requires more treatments oftentimes than when we're just treating for the brown. So on average, I would say most people for redness need maybe anywhere from three to five treatments, and we wait about a month in between. And for the redness, there's not a whole lot of downtime. The skin may be a little pink afterwards, um, but it's not, you know, you can wear your makeup afterwards. I'm putting now a smaller adapter on, so this won't be as big of a zap to do a smaller area like the nose. Okay. So for smaller areas of the face, like the nose, the upper lip, I put on this smaller adapter, just to make it easier to fit in these smaller spaces. This is typically more comfortable for the patient anyway because it, it's not covering as much surface area. The passes we do and the more light that we can um, put into the tissue, the better for the collagen and the integrity of the skin. So I'm gonna start over here, here we go. So afterwards, she might feel like she's gotten just a mild sunburn. She might have a little bit of redness to her skin. Some people experience a little mild swelling, but it's usually not anything that lasts longer than 24 hours. 
and she is can wear her makeup she could you know put it on as soon as we're finished if she had something to do and then after the treatment we just encourage patients to use a gentle cleanser their moisturizer and obviously most importantly sunscreen for the first three to five days I usually have patients avoid anything that might sting or burn the skin normally so avoid maybe any astringent or toner uh, you don't want to have them use any kind of a cleanser that has any kind of exfoliating um, granules or anything like that you want to treat your skin as if you had gotten a mild sunburn so you might not want to use any of your vitamins you know anything with acid in it for a few days and then before the treatment, we want people to not use any of their retinols or retin-A's for usually three to five days before because those tend to make the skin a little sensitive to the sun. And so we don't want anybody to be using anything prior to this treatment that makes their skin sensitive. Same goes for anything, any medication by mouth that makes people sensitive to the sun. They would want, need to be off of those before they have any kind of a laser treatment, laser or light treatment. This treatment, do not ever want to have um, a real tan from the sun and or any um, self tanners or spray tan um, on your skin prior to doing this treatment. You want your skin to be the most pale, normal color that you can, you can be. Um, this machine strictly goes after color, and so if you have any color on the skin that's not naturally supposed to be there, like a self tanner or a tan from the sun, uh, you could burn the skin. So that makes this treatment a little challenging in the summertime. Um, most people are really good about keeping their face out of the sun, but you definitely need to be careful in different areas of the body, like the chest or the forearms. You never want to do those treatments if you have any kind of a tan on the skin. And then after the treatment, you have to be careful about, you know, being out in the sun afterwards. Your skin's going to be a little more sensitive to the sun after these treatments, so you want to be a little more cautious um, when you're out, I would say, for maybe a week after a treatment like this. Some people come in and instead of wanting um, maybe their, the whole area treated, they just have certain spots that are concerning. So now I'm going to go back over and just treat where she's got some of the darker sunspots. The brown, when we treat the brown, that will get a little darker and scab over a little bit. And that usually lifts in about seven days. So we encourage all of our patients after they have a, a BBL treatment to see one of our estheticians and have a dermaplaning treatment or some kind of an exfoliating treatment to just kind of encourage that skin if it hasn't already sloughed off to slough off. Um, and that's a really good thing to do um, anytime after seven days from this treatment. Now we've finished her treatment so I'm gonna just try to gently remove her eye shields and then get all of the gel off of her face okay. so the product that I like to use after all of these BBL treatments on patients is the phytocorrective gel made by SkinCeuticals it comes in two forms this is the the liquid with the dropper and it's made with cucumber and thyme so it's very soothing and cooling to the skin um, I'm gonna actually use this is the gel so what's really nice about this product is you can put it on thick if you want it to be more of like a mask consistency on the skin or you can just put it on thinly but this will also help even with daily use, um, with helps with the redness. How does, it, how does that feel going on? Is that cool or is it? It does. It feels good. Yeah. Now we're gonna apply some sunscreen. I like to use a tinted sunscreen. I think it helps camouflage 
any pinkness that the, a patient may get afterwards, but really any sunscreen um, that they have at home is great. I would always recommend it being at least a 30 SPF or higher, especially after this treatment, because you want to really be a little more cautious about the sun after this treatment. Then we would want to see her back in a month to repeat the treatment again to get rid of um, any brown spots that are lagging behind or definitely to treat the redness again because like I said, the redness is always more stubborn than the brown.